Alrighty, we are here again. Uh, where we was at last week. Done some carpet upstairs along the steps and stuff. You guys seen the video, I'm sure. But anyway, check this out. You have just got to love it when the clients have their rooms ready for you like this. When I came in, there was a shop vac sitting on the floor. It's ready to go. Replace just a few pieces of tack stripping in the door jams. You got that little bit right there to take up. This is ready. Love it. Just love it. Somebody asked me a while back how to trim just a little bit of carpet when it's all soft on the edges and you don't have much to trim. Well, even though it's all soft and rag light right there, if you have a sharp blade in your trimmer, you can still put your trimmer on it. And the thing about this is, to keep this from bunching up and wadding all up in front of you and not cutting, keep tension on that. See that? There you go, ready to tuck. And here we go, we got this one down, got those couple pieces back in there, and even despite the 25 seams on the doorway, it turned out okay. Right over here. Um, this is laminate, anytime you pull up these things right here, it busts them to pieces, so what I did, I just kinda pulled the carpet out carefully, left the tack strip under it, so it's got some support, put an extra row of tack strip right here, and then just tucked it right back underneath that lip. So it's still got something solid there. Has a little bit of give, but what's the tack strip there? It's still solid enough to, I think, you know, typically you should not have a T-mo to go to carpet, but that's what's there. And I didn't want to, I don't have that transition. Somebody else did this, some other company did. So, um, didn't want to bust them, have to deal with putting transitions down here. So I just worked with what we had to work with. We can do the same thing right over there as well. We are getting started in the living room right now. Getting everything ready, fixing to uh, strengthen up the tack strip and get, get on it. Fireplace hearth right here underneath the carpet. See that? And I'm not going to cut it out until I get my stretch from there up to here. If I cut it out first and then stretch, it's going to try to twist this stretch right here and twist that whole section out of proportion. So stretch it all completely. Then I'll cut this down when I get ready to set this whole wall up through there. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, sorry I couldn't get a whole lot of footage today. 
I just couldn't. I had people all over the house all the time. I just kind of felt weird trying to do stuff with people around. So <laughs> people all over the place. So I just didn't do it. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to the daily vlog. Until tomorrow, FBSB's out.